Hey everybody, it's Richard Aram Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Vivaro van, and we've got the management light on. Right, okay, so I've already started doing this one. I wasn't going to do a video, but I thought this would probably be quite a good, quick little one to have a look at. What I've done is I've got a recording of when I drove it. Now, this car was coming up with a, uh, a P2263, which was a um, low boost code. Um, it's got the 2-litre M9R engine in it, and it's about 2014. Um, so I'll probably put the details on the screen somewhere just so you know right so I've got a recording of when I drove it up the road just to see what was going on with the boost so as you can see up here we've got the boost pressure the nominal boost pressure which is what it should be and what the the vacuum solenoid valve is doing when we're doing that so you see the solenoid valve moves up in conjunction with what the nominal value wants here now this was a first and second gear pull. I noticed it quite a few times on the lower gears that it felt like it was hesitating. Uh, no light came back on after I deleted the code, but I could see this on the live data. And as you change it up through the gears, it, it seemed better and it would follow. And again, you can see the green trace. Um, at slightly higher revs here, we do have this dip. It did struggle a bit and then come back. So my main concern is why have I not got any boost here is that's probably what's setting the code um, whether it has to happen for that code to set like a I don't know a certain amount of time of under boost or, or whatever um, for it to set or a certain amount of times it sees it I don't know um, but that's the code it's coming up with you can definitely feel uh, a loss of power in the lower gears it's not so noticeable when it's up and driving um, you can't go too fast in this van anyway, it's got a speed limiter on it, so no more than 70 at any rate. So this is my live data, so I'm going to get under the bonnet and we're going to have a look and just do a sort of a visual inspection and then uh, I'm going to go and check this boost valve around that area and see what that's doing. Obviously it seems to have good command here, but you never know. Alright, okay, so we're on to that top line off the boost solenoid. We'll just push straight onto the MIDI vac and see if we can pump up some pressure. And that's not doing anything, which makes me think we've either got a leak on a diaphragm on a turbo or maybe a leak on a pipe. Um, what I'll do is if I quickly swap this round onto the other one, we'll make sure we've got a vacuum supply and then we'll go from there. Right, okay, so I've got the van started. We're connected into the vacuum supply. And as you can see on the gauge, we've got a, a good, pretty well 30 inches of mercury there. So I think the supply is good. So we're going to head in the direction of following the uh, pipe down the back of the engine there. See if we've got any issues there. If not, we're, um, we'll go straight onto the turbo and see what that does. Right, okay, so I think I found the culprit. If I can just get it in view. This is the pipe that comes across the back of the engine. As you can see, it has been rubbing on this bit of heat tape on the back of the bulkhead here. And if I can just twist the pipe enough, see just by my finger there, it has rubbed through and made a hole. So I would go for, we need to cut that out and uh, then we'll reperform our test with the vacuum pump make sure it backs down and then we'll test drive it again and see if we've got our boost back and hopefully that's it a nice quick little fix and uh, that'll be it for this uh, for this one so I'll get this cut out and we'll put a bit of temporary pipe in there before we decide what we're going to do with this all right okay so I've got the bit replaced back there with a bit of pipe in between uh, and you see the hole there a bit better. It focuses properly. You can see it rub through there in the middle. So I reperformed the test, and what I got is not this. This is what it is now. Pulled some vacuum, and it's sat there, there staying. This end piece was also had a nick in it, and I don't know if I can get this in shot or not. You see that slight slash. 
sort of just above my finger there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a tiny hole in that as well. And that was right over the other end. This piece of pipe on the end here that pushes onto the valve. So even though we found an obvious big hole at the back down here, there was also a problem with this rubber hose at the front, which is always worth rechecking your work before you've done it, because now we've pulled that, so we can prove that the pipe is all good and the diaphragm and the turbo is good, because we can hold the vacuum now. So we'll get this put back together, and I'll take it for a test drive, and hopefully we should have our boost back. Right, okay, so we just come back off a test drive, and as you can see from this, it's the same setup. <clears throat> um, all of this looks back in line. We've not got those dropouts. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, you can see the gear changes and on and off the boost, and it's all following each other quite well now um, through various parts. So I'm pretty happy that that's uh, sorted now. It does feel a lot better to drive. It feels a lot smoother. Um, I guess we can come back out and uh, let's have a look at the error memory. Come on. Still got no faults got stored, but I couldn't get it to set before. As I said, I don't know if there's a certain amount of times it needs to log it or a certain period of time with a, with a loss of boost that it needs to log it. But that's all sorted now. So. Um, yeah, just a quick few little tests. Didn't throw the throw money at a solenoid when it didn't need it. Um, and we worked out, yeah, just a couple of bits of pipe and we can get this van back running. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and come along for the next one.